Mom, I'm finally home. Well, thank God you're back. Like, I thought that trip was never gonna end. And I actually think that your viewers didn't think that trip was gonna end either. Like, holy crap, Will. Your views sucked. It's like, thank God you're back. We'll get back to the, the kind of content that we all wanna see. Maybe the ones that I'm in. Well, I guess that's true. But I'll be back on Thursday. What is going on guys, Will here. Welcome to the video. It is day number two in Las Vegas and I feel like we've already done it all. We had a lot of drinks by the pool. Uh, we lost all of our money. We ate a lot of food and we had a special visit to the local ranch, but today is a new day. I'm feeling good and I'm smiling on the inside. So the plan right now is to go find a pre-workout meal and then get a solid workout in. It's really unfortunate that the buffets are closed right now because of COVID, but you know, just like the casino where the house always wins, you go to the Vegas buffet, the bathroom always wins. I'm gonna show you all some Chipotle hacks right now. So I'm gonna get a bowl with double meat, but I'm not gonna say double meat right out of the gate because we want them to give a single scoop first and then that's gonna set the tone for the next scoop. So just say, can I have a bowl please with steak? They scoop the steak and then you say, do you know what? I'll have a double scoop. And then they're like, oh crap. Because usually if they do double scoop right away, they kind of even it out. But then once they set the tone for the first one, you get a lot more meat. Can I do uh, some steak, please? Steak? Yeah. Right. And then I'll actually do a double, so I'll do barbacoa as well. You got a whole cow in there. See, guys, I'm telling you, if you don't do that trick, you would have got half the meat. Las Vegas is like an adult theme park. The whole entire thing, like the last time I've been surcharged this much, it was in my 30 seconds, was rounded up to an hour. This was like 17 bucks, bro. Yeah, I know. Mine was like 13 and a bit when I got my drink, but like, Nuts. When you do the conversion, it's so, it's so expensive. It's robbery, man. So, um, I got double meat, so I got steak, barbacoa, and then I pretty much keep all of my meals pretty much keto, other than like those special meals when I go and get like donuts and drinks and special dinners like that. Everything else that I eat is pretty much protein and veggies, and that is it, just because you want to balance things out. Meanwhile, he's having fried rice, orange chicken, and sesame chicken. I am, so like I normally, like days where I have to shoot a lot, I'll eat a lot of my calories right in the beginning of the day, because yeah. I know as the day goes on, like I'll forget. Yeah. But also keep in mind, he's going for an AMRAP 405 bench press. Every rep that I get, I'm going to commit to losing 10 pounds every rep. So if I get one pounds, pounds, yeah, so with it's one, one rep, 10, two reps, 20, so on and so forth. So I'm gonna give it a shot. If you get five reps with 405, you're committing to losing 50 pounds on the internet right now. Yeah, 100%, and I can do people it. People are gonna hold you to it. Oh, 100% they will. Yeah. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Okay. I'm that, totally okay with that. Okay. I'm gonna use the majority of the food that Will makes, and I'm gonna emulate that in like my own life. So we'll see if I can actually use some of the stuff that you teach in your channel to lose 50 pounds. And yeah. we'll see, kind of see how it goes in the end. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Do you pinky swear? Oh, it's a pinky swear on the channel. That means pinky I have swear. to do you it. You have to do it. Or you could roast yeah. me in the comments in yeah. every single video. Now that I'm thinking about it, because I'm doing leg day. So I'm, I'm having Chipotle before leg day. That's like, that's like moisturizing your hands before deadlifts. I can't think of worse timing. I'm just not going to be behind you, that's all. So I have lost three shaker cups on this trip, so I literally don't have one left. So we are using a to-go cup for my pre-workout. We're using some Mango Marg by Blue Star, 10 10 for 10% off. Thank God that it is so easily mixable because otherwise we would have a clumpy experience. So if you want to pick some up, link in the description and save yourself some money. So this is the pre-workout hype up. We're heading down to Dragon's Lair to get a leg workout in, so let's do it. So we are at Dragon's Lair, Jim about to hop into a leg day. So I had to switch my shirt because I didn't realize I got Chipotle all over it. So luckily I had another one in my bag. So we are gonna be starting off with some squats today. We're gonna go for a heavy single, followed up with some back offsets, three sets of six. And usually I'm just gonna stick with my compound movement for the day. And then I see a bunch of machines around. We're gonna have fun, play around, get some higher volume stuff in. So I'm hoping for around like 405 to maybe like 415 pounds for my top set. Back it down 20% and uh, We'll see how I feel. I feel a little bit heavy on the legs today, but you know, you never know until you start trying. So when you 
warm up, even when you have one plate on the bar, you want to make each rep look like your top set. Set up, get your breath in, go down, explode up, try to move it quick. So don't just think because it's lightweight, you don't have to really focus. Focus on every single rep, no matter the weight. I usually keep the warm-up sets anywhere from like three to five reps, nothing more than that. Even if it's easy, I just keep some reps in the tank so I have enough energy for my top set. It's feeling good today. Maybe that Chipotle pre-workout meal. Okay, 325 felt really good. We have 365 pounds on the bar right now. So once I get this close to my top set, I'm gonna start doing singles all the way up. So this will probably be my last single. Then we'll throw 405 on and see how that feels. If that's it for the day, that's it. If I feel good when I push up to 415, who knows? I want to try 415. That was a bit slower than I thought, but I think I got 415 to me today. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We got 415 on the bar. So this is the most that I squatted since I injured my knee like a year and a half ago. So if you guys do like a one rep max squat, don't be scared of this shit. You gotta own the rep here. So you know, 405 was a little bit, eh, but I'm gonna nail this. Watch. I feel like I just matrixed that mid rep. I just actually completely went slow motion, just like time to stop mid rep. I locked it out. Feel good. So that's like a PR in the past year and a half. So we're gonna back the weight down to like 350 pounds, do two to three sets of six, and then move on to a secondary leg press, 12 to 15, keep a higher volume for us to work out. The one thing nice about top sets is that once you back the weight down, all your back off sets feel so much lighter. So 345 for six felt really, really good today. <laughs> Woo. So while I was squatting, Kofi is here warming up on the bench press. How do you feel? I'm nervous, bro. I haven't, nervous? I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't touched 405 in like four or five years. Okay, so he has 405 on the bar right now. I just squatted him for 375 and that was smooth. So I think you got five reps. So we're gonna watch it right now. Oh man. This guy just hit for three reps. I think we gotta change my channel name to Kofi. I'm gonna do no, a video on that. I gotta lose 30 pounds. <laughs> yeah, he's gotta lose 30 pounds now. So you guys better be on him about that. All right, so we are slowly working our way up on this machine for three sets of 12 to 15 reps. My God, is it painful, but in there of the gym, I like to turn pain into pleasure in some way. So start off with one plate. This is two plates. Gonna add, gonna add another three plates. If that feels good, I'll probably do another set. So if the machine feels good to me, and I only plan to do three sets, I'll continue to go. And then after this, we'll do some hamstrings, finish off with some lighter accessories like leg extensions and cab raises. much harder when you're standing up versus lying down 
Wow, it's not even a lot of weight. I have 40 pounds on the thing right there. And I'm failing with the 12 to 15 rough range. One of the last things that we are gonna do is the leg extension. So I love to do the leg extension every single leg day because for me personally, I don't really like the massive wide quads that you can't really fit into jeans and stuff like that. So I like to prioritize the vastus medialis, which is the teardrop muscle, which is right here. And I find the leg extension hits that really, really well. So I always focus on the leg extension a lot on leg days. And if you don't really want the massive legs, that's totally fine. Just focus on specific movements for the leg shape that you want. Okay, so I'm gonna do 20 reps, 15, 12, 10, and then eight for my heavy set. And then we're gonna do like a triple drop set. So after the eight reps, we're gonna do another eight, eight, eight. Finish off some calves, work out done. That's it. That's it. Calves, we all know, is a tricky muscle group. Some people say you gotta do really, really high reps, and some people say you gotta go super, super heavy and low reps. And what I found that has worked for me, marginally, because I have no calves pretty much, is the heavy weight with low reps. So my man, Ronaldo, back in Toronto says, you know, you're walking on your legs all the time. Your, your calves are used to high reps just from walking up the stairs, down the stairs, just walking on the sidewalk. So you really wanna hammer them with heavy weight and low reps. So we're gonna do three sets, eight to 10 reps. Again, more drop sets, more volume and that'll be the workout. That was only one seven and a half dogs until next week. Workout is a wrap at the Dragon's Lair. Kofi hit 405, I hit 415 on the squat. I can't complain. So now we gotta wait 25 minutes for our Uber. It seems like just in Las Vegas, getting an Uber is pretty much impossible. So we're gonna wait for the Uber, head back to the hotel, shower up, and enjoy the rest of our day. So Mardi Gras is French for Fat Tuesday. And why is it called Fat Tuesday? Fat Tuesday is the day before Lent. Okay. Um, and that's when you basically give something up for 40 days. Yeah. So pretty much coming to Las Vegas and not getting a Fat Tuesday is like dating a cop and not using his handcuffs. You know what I mean? But the good thing about having a girlfriend is that you split things. So like the calories and the carbs and the sugar is half as bad. Yeah. So we're going to split it, get two different flavors, and walk around the Venetian a bit, look around, and then uh, get ready for some dinner. Two straws. Should I wait for him? I'll wait for him. That's not nice. So we got our wizard staffs here in the form of alcohol. You go for it? No, it's true. Do it. You're going to suck that out. It's not coming out. Yeah, I know. That's what she said. You getting anything? No. I almost did. Don't swallow until I get some. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like... It needs a, it's, it tastes like a virgin drink. It needs a little bit more experience. You can taste opinion. alcohol. Yeah, you definitely can. You can? I can't. I feel like a kid at the, at the convenience store right now. I dare you to lick it. I dare you. Lick it. Lick it. Lick it. Lick it. Did he lick it? I'm not licking it. So if I buy a donut soap, will I smell like a donut? Like, do you have Boston no, cream? No, you have. So this one is chocolate. No? <laughs> oh. Whatever you say, yes, chocolate one. I've always wanted to smell like a Boston cream. <laughs> okay. You, so the chocolate smells like chocolate? Yes, it does. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I need right. to buy it. I need to buy this. You have to. Yeah, I'm going to buy it. Yeah, I'll get you a new one yeah. in the back, babe. Okay. Come smell this. This is going to be me soon. You excited? Yeah, I'm gonna rub this all over. That here. smells like a uh, chapstick. Huh? We get a free bath bomb with purchase. I think the peaches. Whenever there's peaches, the cream always follows, right? Wow, that was a good one. <laughs> what? All right, guys. So I just bought a twenty-seven dollar 
donut soap. Literally what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Katie and I are currently headed to the mall secretly because this is Kofi's last night here. So Victoria, Katie and I are going to LA tomorrow for a week, but Kofi has to go home for work. So I want to give him a little bit of a present and just to say thank you for everything that he's done because without him, this entire trip would not be possible. He is such a good friend. He is such a grinder and he just has such a positive attitude. He really has helped me out a lot. And you know, he has had a lot of donuts this trip, but to officially have him a part of the team, he needs to have an Apple Watch to count his steps. So we are going to the Apple store right now and we're gonna surprise him with an Apple Watch at dinner. So we just got a coffee, we also have Kofi's Apple Watch right here. It's really nice to be able to do things for people that you care about growing up as a kid. That's really all I actually ever wanted. Uh, I know he's been talking about this for a long time. I know he really, really wants one, so I'm very excited to give it to him. So we have a reservation for dinner in one hour. We're gonna surprise him with this, and I can't wait. We are headed out for our last dinner here in Vegas. We're going to Tao, which is just some overpriced Chinese food. Uh, so we're all dressed up really, really nicely. Look at Katie, how beautiful she is in that dress. We got Victoria, and we got me. We're in the All Saints, the skinny jeans, and the Gucci shoes. Yeah. And we got Kofi behind the camera. He looks super, super cute. Trust me, guys, he looks really, really cute. I look like uh, I'm homeless, but okay. Yeah, so we're gonna go enjoy some Chinese food. After that, probably get something pretty epic for dessert. Don't know what yet, I actually do. I just wanna keep it a surprise for you all. It's so dark in here, it's kind of like a sex club, wouldn't you think? Well, it's set in the movie. Yeah, I love the vibe. I love the vibe right now. So we just got part one of our dinner. We have a bunch of sushi coming afterwards. Me and Katie are sharing some chili chicken. With that too? Okay. Right. I mean, it's $31, but I mean, a lot better than Panda Express. Round number two, we have shrimp tempura and spicy shrimp. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna get roasted, but I literally like to add my ginger to my sushi when I dink it and sink it. Dink it. That tastes so fresh. So we just wrapped up a beautiful dinner and Victoria got Kofi. I got a gift. Got a gift. I got a gift and uh, I don't know what it actually is. But I'm gonna... For avocado sauce. It's an avocado. Thanks. <laughs> just FYI, Kofi's definitely allergic to avocados. I'm like been... horribly allergic to avocados. Horribly so allergic. if I wear these and I die, it's all your fault. Yeah, I also have a gift for you. Oh, what is it? I do. Because you, you had a lot of donuts on our trip. Yeah. But you gotta be officially part of the gang. Oh no. Do something. What's the donut gang? I heard you, I heard, what is this? Yeah, give it. I heard there's an actual dog collar apparently that happens. Oh, what the f is this? Oh, I got an apple watch. Oh, this isn't an avocado. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. What am I gonna, I can't cry because you can't see the tears, but I don't think we're excited. I don't accept gifts very well. Thank you. Um, turn it, turn it off, please. Can you, can you get rid of that? Without him, none of the videos would have happened on this trip. So oh shit! Um, you're a workhorse, bro. I'm super thankful. Thank you so much. I'm actually like, yeah. can you, can you turn this off? I'm gonna cry or something. Can you not do that? Okay, so we are at a place called Sloan's Ice Cream in the Venetian. We're about to get some dessert to end off this video. This could be your last night on this earth. So it's like, do you want to have a kitchen sink or a no, sink house? I, I don't. I think that the sink house Sunday is fine. Okay, I would actually tend to agree. Even if it was my last day on earth, I'd probably still have a sand castle sundae, which is five scoops of ice cream, chocolate chip cookie, and then Katie wants to add a brownie. She's just an absolute beast. Can I do coffee and donut, please? And cookie dough, please? That's the one. <laughs> 
Uh, three, please. Thank you very much. Look at this thing. What the hell? These are pretty fire sunglasses, though. No, that was only. You were supposed to earn that. I've already earned it, man. I think I did. I made this. Okay, yeah. because you made it, you get the first scoop. I don't like whipped cream, but whatever. I, I feel like at a cream. certain point, it's gonna be like you don't even know what flavor of ice cream you're having because it's just a big like I blob didn't even of see nothing. What you oh my god. No, yeah, I good. Yeah. It's gonna be a while till we get to to actual ice cream. Yeah. Not a whipped cream fan. Well, I went deep. I found myself a pretzel. A pretzel? Um, yeah. That's Tracy's scrumptious pretzel. Don't touch my shovel. Why? Look. A sister doesn't touch a brother's shovel. <laughs> Ew. What? Who's Tracy? I don't know. She tastes good though. I feel sick, but I can go for another one. There you are. All Light done. work, baby. Light work. We are waddling our way home like it should be done. How does everybody feel? Amazing. Amazing. Uh, tired. Uh, tired. Y'all yeah. know itis is because I got the itis. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Kofi. I know. This is gonna be this is gonna be sad. You guys are gonna go to California. Yeah, I'm gonna get some separation me. anxiety. But we did Vegas, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.